Um, yeah, so in that Super Bowl rematch, uh, you know, Kansas City obviously pulled out another improbable dub. San Francisco was banged up, but still might have a more complete roster than Kansas City with the people that were hurt. Uh, these unlikely wins just keep stacking up. How much longer do you think the Chiefs can stack, can keep doing this? Um, I mean, I hate everything about the question you just asked. There's nothing unlikely about it. Here's, here's what... Here's what I, what is frustrating to me about the discourse surrounding the Chiefs. They've played six games. How many of those games, Demonze, do you think they trailed for even one second in the fourth quarter? Of those six uh, improbable, yeah, lucky. In the fourth quarter. Yeah. <laughs> no, one. The Cincinnati one? game. Because remember the Cincinnati, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the Cincinnati game. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the. The Ravens, Saints, Falcons, Niners game, they led every second of the fourth quarter. The Chargers game, it was briefly tied, and then they led the rest of the fourth quarter. And then the Bengals game, they had to pull it out. It's not improbable for the team with the league's best defense, the league's best coach, and also the league's best quarterback, even though he's not playing that way, except for, of course, in the biggest moments of the game, where on fourth and two, fourth and goal from the two, up only two points in the fourth quarter, he truck sticks a safety to assault the game away. That team is supposed to win. The two-time defending champion on a 12-game winning streak is supposed to win games. What's improbable is that Vegas continues to make Patrick Mahomes an underdog. What is uh, offensive is that the, the, the Brock Purdy has never been an underdog once in his career, and Patrick Mahomes has been an underdog 14 times. That's a real stat? Niners haven't been an I'm underdog? I'm going to say that again. <laughs> The San Francisco 49ers have not been an underdog in a single game they have played since Brock Purdy took over. Meanwhile, the Kansas City Chiefs have been an underdog 14 times in Patrick Mahomes' career, including five of their last six playoff games. They were <laughs> underdogs. They, of course, won all of those. So, I mean, Mahomes is, among other things, the greatest underdog quarterback in NFL history. The numbers are insane, and also he's 12-1-1 and against the spread, and 11-3 and now straight up. So, wait, is that right? He was, yeah, 11-3 and straight up, 12-1-1 and against the spread, another game where they were underdogs, and... So I the I don't know what to tell you other than and I know today the the conversation today is going to be like it's just I get so irritated about how the Chiefs are discussed because people want the Chiefs to be something they're not. They're like ah they're boring. Oh they're lucky. Oh they're you know the guys they have played the league's hardest schedule. The quarterback that everyone acknowledges is either the best or the second best player the league has ever seen has played poorly through major stretches of this season. They have suffered as many injuries to key players as any team in the league. And they are winning these games handily. I Oh, what do you mean they're winning handily? They led the Ravens for every second of the second half. The Ravens did have a chance at the end to tie it on the final play of the game. The Bengals give them trouble, credit to the Bengals, and the Bengals almost won that game until, of course, Mahomes, having played the worst game of his career up to that point, arguably, on fourth and six, threw a perfect pass. It got called back due to a questionable hold, even though, of course, the Chiefs get all the calls. And then on fourth and 16, Mahomes threw another perfect pass. The very next week against Atlanta, they 
controlled every aspect of that game. The very next week against the Chargers, they went down 10 nothing instantly, then pitched a shutout and controlled that game. The very next week against New Orleans, they controlled every aspect of that game. And yesterday or Sunday against the defending NFC champion Niners, they led by double digits for major stretches of the game and led by nine plus for the, basically the entirety of the fourth quarter. What are we talking about? So, uh, I think that the Chiefs are demonstrably better than every team. I hear a lot of people I respect saying, well, we'll see about what happens in January, but right now, Baltimore's clearly the best team. Okay. I mean, if you want to say that, that's fine. I, I, I think it's ridiculous to have that opinion. Truly ridiculous to have that opinion. Um, but it's fine. People can have that opinion, and I hope that there's more spots where the Chiefs are underdogs because they're incredibly profitable. But the, So what, you think that'll is, happen? Like you, what, I know you hope, but do you think that'll actually happen again for the rest of the year? The I think they'll be underdogs? underdogs in Buffalo. Yes. Vegas doesn't respect this team. Flatly. I think they'll be underdogs in Buffalo. I don't think they'll be underdogs at home at any point this year. But I also want people to understand what what is going to happen here. The Chiefs are going to go into that game against Buffalo 9 and 0. They're home for the Raiders. They're then I'm sorry, they're at the Raiders. They're then home for Tampa. That Tampa game would have been tough, but now it's going to be no Godwin, no Evans. And then they play the Broncos. And so they're going to be 9-0 and going into the Bills game. And the other thing about this is I the Chiefs are have had incredible, you know, brutal injuries all year. I get it. But they have a if the Texans stumble at any point, and if the Chiefs beat Buffalo in a month. The Chiefs have a real chance to lock up the number one seed historically early because they're right now three games clear of Baltimore because Baltimore's got the two losses and if they finish with the same record, the Chiefs get it. So, like, let's just... in If the Ravens go undefeated the rest of the way in order to be the one seed, the Chiefs have to lose three times. Now, by the way, going into the year, I did think the Chiefs were going to lose three times this year. So let's just say they do lose three times. That means everyone else is going to have to go undefeated. Anyone that wants to be the one seed is going to have to go undefeated or beat the Chiefs head-to-head and only lose once. So good luck. But I... Are you scared that... I Because I know in the beginning of the year, a couple years ago, you were like, oh, 20-0, never a doubt, won't lose a game. And then in coming into this season, you were like, they're not going to go 20-0 and or whatever. Is is that kind of on the board? Yeah. Aren't you thinking it might be possible that they do go 20-0? I don't the think that's regular season the goal. With all I the games that they've played so. and the, I, the teams that they have remaining. I mean, I get they have like rivalries. And, so, so here's the thing is this. I think that last year I thought 20-0 and could be a goal because – you want to make sure you stay locked and focused and have like this rabbit to chase. This year, they have it, and it's the three-peat. We've seen an undefeated season. We've seen a team go 7 or 16-0 and and then lose in the Super Bowl. We What we've never seen is a three-peat. And I, like, I, this is going to be an unpopular take, But I would be absolutely fine with, and I don't, listen, I think if I know the Chiefs, here's what I know. They probably will lose that game in Buffalo, and they'll lose a dumb one. I think they're going to lose a dumb game and the game in Buffalo. But let's say I'm wrong, and let's say they start 15, they beat the Texans, lock up the one seed, and they're 15 and 0. If they do that, I would be totally fine with them resting players, saying we don't care about the fifth, the seventeen and zero. We're going for a three peat. Hey, thanks for watching.
hit the subscribe button to get more from the show and make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever you get your podcasts or just click the link in the description below.